Hey, Mark Harvey here, and welcome to another Real Life Truth on Thursday. I think it's important that you receive the truth. So I'm here right now, and we're going to be giving you the ins and outs of the invisible war on money, or even the cash heist, whichever way you look at it. So just so you know, I'm gonna be recording this right now, and uh, I've got my, my people here. So my people are here. Oh, 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 they're asleep. Guys, you're supposed to be, uh, you know, cheering me on. I don't know about you, but you look a little bit like a chipmunk. You're supposed to be a kitten tiger. So welcome back and thank you for joining us for another Real Life Truth on Thursday. This is where we give you the truth on the chin. You know, some people, they don't like the truth. You know, the truth, you know, the truth hurts and all of that. But this saying goes that the truth will set you free. Now, from my experience, scraping back the layers of falseness, uncovering the truth has allowed me to go and build very successful businesses, relationships, and a life. So I just want to continue scraping back the layers of falseness because it keeps coming up. And every time I get to a, you know, a new layer of, of truth and, and operate in the truth and play a bigger game, then the next layer of falseness comes along. So I think it's about knowing the truth. What do you think? Put it in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and put on the notification bell if you want more truth to help you operate your business, increase your income and do whatever it is you want to have be or do in your life. So this week, I'm telling you that we're gonna be inspired by this book here, Fake, by Robert Kiyosaki. You know, what a guy, what an inspiration this guy is. So I wanna explain something. I just wanna read a small section of this book before I go into my point of this Real Life Truth on Thursday. Because we're talking about wealth here in this book. So let me read this. So this is just a section where he's talking about you know, does gold attract wealth and what is a safe investment? Is it real gold and silver? Is it real estate? He hasn't got to that part in this book yet when uh, the part I'm talking about. But here, we're talking about spiritual wealth. I mean, that word caught my eye. But he's talking about, for much of human existence, wealth has been stolen. The English plundered the world using the technology of large wooden ships, metal swords, cannons, rifles, and black powder against indigenous, underdefended people and stole their wealth. Then the Spanish, Dutch, Portuguese, and the French did the same. Early Americans stole land from the American Indians using the technology of horses and rifles. Americans were one of the last major world powers to finally outlaw slavery the gaining of wealth via the blood, sweat, and tears of slaves from Africa. The Japanese joined Italy and Germany using the technology of oil, internal combustion engines, airplanes, ships, tanks, cannon, machine guns, and rockets in an attempt to conquer the world. The Cold War was the war that threatened the end of the world using the technology of atomic energy. Today's elites are using the power of sophisticated education, the law, and derivative finance to steal the soul of the world today. So before going to the next piece, I think this is super relevant as well, is this is exactly what is going on. So before we actually get into this next section, I want to just read to you. You know, right now, most people, they're, they're, they're not sure of what the truth is. You know, we see things in the media, we th see things on the TV, we, we see things written down in magazines and newspapers and articles, and then one person tells the next person, and oh my goodness, we don't know, we're receiving all kinds of misinformation, too much information, the wrong information, and all of that. So how do we get to the truth and how do we know what the truth is? Well, let's think of it this way. What's going on now is this invisible cash heist of this unlimited printing of money. And really what uh, is kind of normal, isn't it? It's kind of normal, like, like, like mo the majority of the world, they're not even paying attention to what is going on. So, so this got me thinking and I thought, well maybe, maybe at some point back in history, like what Robert Kiyosaki is talking about here, is maybe the, this, this war or uh, the fact that war is happening or the stealing of wealth 
was a normal thing. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was, well, you know, this thing where we're gonna go and fight and defend ourselves and this is how we, you know, gain power is just a normal way of being, a normal way of thinking. So at that point, maybe the majority of people just thought this was a way of life and this is just what happens. Where a small amount of people, they were like, there's a better way to do things and this is what paves the way for real, real teachers and real entrepreneurs and real people who are wanting to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Yeah, you know, maybe it's these people that could scrape back the layers of falseness of that this war is the way of being to actually get to the truth that no, that's not actually what is required. You know, there is a better way of doing it. And that's how then through history, things started to evolve. So now I bear this question to you. Is the fact that now most people, the majority of people think that this way of operating where you, 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 you think you're free, but you're actually not. You're actually controlled by you know, the government, the banking system, whether you, you know, how much you get paid, interest rates, all of this stuff. You know, the fact that you know, inflation must continue for the continuous printing of more and more money and, and different language comes out to be able to uh, confuse the people and make it a very complex thing to understand this thing of money, this thing of bank, banking system, this thing of uh, where terminology changes. I mean, the latest one is called quantitative easing, which is just code for print more money. Yeah, and they make it very complicated and anyone who might disagree with that, well, you just don't understand, you're not you know, educated enough. Yeah, so the invisible technology is super important to understand, so let's read on. So all the previous heists in history, they were all visible. Indigenous people, they could see the European ships and attackers before they were raped, murdered, enslaved, and, and before their wealth was stolen. The American Indians, they could see horses and rifles before they were killed and had their land stolen. Many Native Americans took horses and rifles to fight back. Yeah, in World War II, people could see the attacking planes, tanks, and ships running on uh, across the field and uh, the new world resource. During the Cold War, pictures of rising mushroom clouds permeated the consciousness of the world. So here's the thing, you know, right now, are we able to see this happening or is it invisible? What is going on? What, what's, what happened in 2008? Are we still sure? Or, you know, does anybody still even know what happened? I mean, there was an awesome film called The Big Short, which actually told you exactly what was going on. But what looked to me is that rather than actually creating new assets, which is what real entrepreneurs do and real business people I value, actually just a lot of what was happening is assets were just moved around and you know, derivatives were created. You know, and a simple way of putting that is like, let's say you've got an orange, yeah, and then you, you from the orange you get the orange juice. So that's the derivative of the orange, yeah? And then you take the orange juice and take the water out of it, and now you've got the orange concentrate, which is another derivative. And it just goes on and on and on and on. So actually, we got fake money, like, like what Robert Kiyosaki is saying in here, we got fake money, we got fake teachers and fake assets that we think we're investing in. You know, all this paper IOU stuff, which we can just print as much and as many as we want. What kind of value does it actually have? Yeah, and is this the biggest invisible stealing or heist of wealth and resources that we can even, like how can we even imagine what may happen? So why do I tell you all of this? Number one, this is Real Life Truth on Thursday. So I think you, be, I think you deserve to at least go ahead and do your own research. Because if you're not even thinking about it, it's not even in your awareness what this possibility is, then uh, there's no comprehension of it. There's, no, there's nothing that you're gonna do about it. You didn't even see it coming. And that's the point I'm making here. You know, the, in all the previous, uh, stealing of wealth or taking over land or whatever, or, the, or the, the attempts to control, maybe that rings a bell, the attempts to control were actually visible, where this seems quite invisible. But on August 15th, 1971, President Richard Nixon did more than take the dollar off the gold standard. He made money invisible. And on that day, the Americans were watching the TV and Nixon interrupted the telecast to make his announcement. And obviously most people did not get to see the message because people could not see Nixon was announcing. 
or see what he was announcing. So ever since 1971, our education system has been a case of the blind leading the blind. So that's what we're gonna talk about in regards to that book today. But what is it that you are gonna do? Number one, you gotta seek the truth. And uh, by seeking the truth, I would suggest strongly that you start making sure that you are prepared. That you are prepared and you know how to follow money. You know how to make money, earn money, even though it is fake printed money. But use this fake money to invest in real assets. You know, to prepare yourself. You know, like it's called real estate for a reason. You know, right now, many people are saying, yeah, invest in gold, invest in gold, real gold, real, real gold. It's not investing, it, it means buy. You know, investing and trading and buying, they're different. So buying and owning the physical gold and silver is some people's insurance policy because, you know, it will be traded no matter what happens. But some for some people, that can be very complex. Number one, going into it and figuring out what, gold to buy, how to store it, and how to deal with it, and even if you do start doing it, how far can you actually scale with that, especially if you don't have a lot of money to buy in the first place. So my alternative for me, and a lot of other people, especially in the Real Life Tribe, what we have done is use the vehicle of property investment, which otherwise is known as real estate real estate why is it called real estate because it's real baby because i don't have to find a vault to put my property in my property can stay on the street and it can generate income and whatever that income or that exchange of value if someone wants to start paying me gold to live in that property then great fantastic if it's bitcoin or real life coin you know or ethereum or you know poker or v chain whatever cryptocurrency whatever the next currency whatever the next exchange if someone wants to start paying me in cattle because that's what we go back to yeah then at least you know i've got something that is of value to exchange people are going to need places to live baby you know whatever it is if i have to set up a campsite for people to live in tents build a block of flats build hotels you know, shared accommodation, big luxurious houses, whatever it is, baby, real estate. Remember that, real estate. But that's not my point of this. I'm just trying to give you some advice or may at least point you in the right direction. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to bring you what I foresee is a warning sign, guys, a warning sign and a signal to make a move and do something. Not because it's invisible, it's invisible and thinking that, oh, hey, you know, war is just a thing that we do. Let's carry on doing that war thing. Yeah, well, how about you just keep working for money, um, trying to save your money and hopefully one day you'll be able to retire, whatever that is, which if you look at the definition, retirement is remove one self from useful service. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't ever plan on doing that. So what uh, is the alternative, guys? What is the alternative? I wanna know in the comments, put it in the comments. What is it that you think and what is it that you're doing about it? Because there are so many people this is not even visible to. So I think sticking together, working together for the greater good is super, super important because the opposite of the truth is what? Everything else. <laughs> That's what it is. I think the only truth is love. Anything else that comes up, it cannot be the truth. You know, blame, complaining, skepticism, fear, worry, anxiety, all of that stuff is created from non-truth. So I wanna know what you think. Yeah, I wanna want know if you have a truth that you wanna to bring to the table and you wanna share with the world because I think this is super, super important and I wanna see the next person who, you know what I like about this book too? Look at this book. You know, in every book they have like a dedication, right? They have a dedication. This this made me chuckle. This made me chuckle. Let me find this. I, I want to read exactly what it said. Dedication. This is what it says. Dedication in this book. You know, people put, you know, my wife, my my daughter, you know, this person, that person. This this guy, Robert. Dedication to those who seek the truth. <laughs> Robert, I want to see you on this program one day. We want to speak. We want to make that happen because I would like to hear the truth from your mouth as well. Uh, I'm loving this book. It's been totally amazing. 
so far, I'm not even finished, but I thought it was too important to uh, not share this message because at the end of the day, I just want to do the right thing for the right reason because that is the only way I'm going to discover my true potential and I just want you guys to reach the truth and do what, and have, be and do whatever it is that you desire in this life and beyond. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications bell if you want to see more and share it and comment as well and like, hit that like button because if you think this information is valuable, even if just one per one more person, each person that watches it gets one more person to watch it, then well, I think what we can do is we can change the course of humanity to live at a, a higher standard of living. You know, a higher standard of living with freedom, doing the right thing for the right reasons, higher levels of health, wealth, happiness, the mindset, fulfillment through emotional and spiritual potential and connection with each other. So if you related to any of that stuff, make sure that you pass it on and we'll see you next time.